hi everyone welcome to js cafe and in today's video we are going to solve some output based questions for the promises so without wasting any time let's get started so um i am assuming you are already familiar with uh, promises like how to implement promises dot then dot catch and dot finally and if you are not then i'll do suggest uh, go to the mdn website and check the documentation of promises now once you have the knowledge of promises let's have a look at the output based questions asked in the front end interviews so the very first question uh, is very simple right so we have uh, this a promise created with a resolve and the reject and we are rejecting this uh, promise with an error uh, saying the fails okay and now this uh, we are catching this error two times of of this particular promise so the interviewer might ask that are we allowed to catch errors two times into the promise or what would be the output here so let's try go ahead and run this so we can we can catch errors twice uh, in a particular promise and that too works same so no issues on that so this would print the fails the fails two times if we catch the error okay so this was one question now let's move to another question very interesting problem that we have this promise and we are rejecting this promise with an error now we are catching the error at the first place now after the catch statement we are putting a then statement so what would be the output so take your time pause this video think about it for a second and then resume it okay so what is happening is actually that okay so this catch would get the error and it will console.log the fails over here but this particular catch statement is not returning anything to the then uh, then a statement okay so then statement actually doesn't receive anything so error becomes undefined and so it will print out error in this case so let's go ahead and run this okay, let me save this once okay so we got the fails and we got undefined right as mentioned earlier catch statement catches the error it prints the fails but since it is not returning anything so in the dot then chain we are not getting anything and so we got undefined in this place had this catch statement returned something so this would also have received the message and would have printed it out fair enough let's move to the next next part of the problem fine so here we have a promise that is being resolved with a success message and in the dot then uh, statement we are again throwing some error okay and in the dot catch part we are catching the error and again returning something uh, that says a string actually that worked and after the whole chain at the very last we are having a dot then statement which is catching the message and consoling dot out so what i think is that we resolve this promise so it will enter the dot then statement this dot statement throws uh, an error so this would be catch catching up by this dot catch statement and this catch catch statement is actually returning this time something a string to this dot then so this dot then will receive this particular string actually that work and it would print out on the console so let's go ahead and print this and yeah so we got actually that worked right fair enough now let's move to the next problem okay so in this part we are you know chaining dot then statements statements and you can see that we are having a promise and we are resolving the promise with a success message and in the dot then we are getting the data and we are returning uppercase uh, we are you know uppercasing the data 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 means the the success string so we are upper, uppercasing the success message and we are also returning it so this particular dot then uh, statement would receive this value from the upper chain and in the data we get as a arguments and we console that data in the terminal okay so this would print basically success but in upper case so let's go ahead and run this 
so yeah we got success over here right fair enough now let's move to the next problem so again here we are having a promise we are resolving this promise and in the dot then we are actually throwing some error and you know uh, in the dot catch we are getting the error and returning something as a string okay we have returned something as a string and again in the dot then we are getting the data and again we are throwing some error and in the dot catch we are receiving it so this is kind of a chain so once the promise is resolved then this the dot then will run this dot then is throwing some error so dot catch will run this dot catch will is returning something to this dot then so this string is uh, coming over as data and in this particular dot then we are again throwing some error so that would be taken up by dot catch statement and we are logging that message in the console so this would actually print the fails on the terminal right the fails on the terminal as a message so this was one brilliant question and okay so we have come to the last part so we have we have to also incur uh, this finally statement also over here so let's clear the console so let's have a look at it so we have a this uh, we have a promise and we are resolving this promise and we have passing two uh, number as a data fine now we are resolving the promise and in the dot then we get the value and we are console logging the value okay so two would be printed over here as it is because we have passed over here and we are returning twice as twice the value of two okay so we are returning four in this dot then part we get four we console dot log four and again we are returning eight over here and in the finally so one thing about finally statement is that eventually they will run but this finally statement is not supposed to get any parameters okay finally statements do not support pa parameters okay they eventually run so this parameter is uh, not at all expected by finally statement so we are you know running uh, a finally statement and we are also returning it but again this is a property of finally statement that it cannot return a value also okay so even though it does finally function is returning but that won't be accepted by any other function uh, any other statement chain okay followed by finally so this would actually print uh un undefined and this finally string over here and in dot dead in part since this finally statement didn't return anything it will take value from this dot then part and it will return uh, it would get actually a uh, so we got uh, returned 4 over here and we returned 8 over here so this would get 8 as a value over here right so let's go ahead and run this once fine so we got the values 2 4 undefined and finally so this was pretty interesting problem as well so these are some kind of you know promise based output questions asked frequently in the interviews and sometimes in uh, the uh, interviewee gets uh, confused by this uh, dot catch dot finally whether it would print one time or two time so these kind of questions help you keep uh, things uh, memorized uh, in your mind and whenever this kind of question uh, or any variation of kind of uh, you know is put up before you uh, you'll be able to answer that particular question very easily so yeah uh, that was all in this uh, video and uh, see you in the next one till then take care goodbye